of the 12 as they roll into the back stretch. Three-year-old Phillies take center stage in the grade one Alabama at Saratoga on Saturday. Race number 10, a mile and a quarter the distance. We're going to take a look at Crazy Beautiful to start off this first bet bullet drill. The gray daughter of Liam's map who won her last two races. She is moving up quickly, this filly. She just seems to me to be getting better and better. She looks like she's galloping here. She goes 49 and two, but boy, she looks like she's just in an absolute gallop. Obviously a very happy, healthy filly for the barn of Ken McPeak. That's crazy beautiful. Now we're gonna take a look here at Maracuja. She's the only filly to have beaten Malathat in her six race career. And she did it uh, last time out in the Cal Cup Oaks, the grade one. Now the CCA Oaks was off a little bit of a layoff. So she has every right to move forward. She got a wider trip in that slug fest with Malathat. And she is a perfect one for one at Saratoga. Look at her, she's almost in a walk down to the wire there, super work. And now Malathat, we mentioned this daughter of Curlin out of an AP Indy mare. What a beautiful pedigree this filly has. She's been very consistent. We talked about her loss in the CCA Oaks in that grade one race, but she comes back with a very steady work here. I note that Todd Pletch is putting her in company with a maiden winner, GeoCare. Obviously very much a maintenance work, not wanting her to do too much coming into the grade one Alabama stake. So a ripe field of three-year-old fillies in race 10. Last of the 12, as they roll into the backstretch.